I did say I don't want to do the uh, motivation video, but it seems like I gotta do it. I just really gotta do it. So let me introduce you guys myself. Uh, probably most uh, some of my viewers or my subscribers might know who am I uh, from my YouTube channel, which is called Paradise. Sorry, <laughs> it's Mr. Firefly. So I actually start to you know go through this self development program since actually last year, but uh, not really into doing it like you know halfway in halfway out that kind of thing so early of this year i started to do it although i feel like not that good i mean of course everyone will feel the same way that how i feel because change changes right is that it's very hard for you to absorb when you want to change something especially like to be honest, I'm a trouble guy. Mm -hmm. Anyone who knows me in person, who actually really get to know me or know me, I am a very troublesome guy. I uh, always have thinking in my head, to be honest. Um, in a way, people call that it's a noise. It's, but that noise is called your inner voice or your inner demon or something like that is actually the other you that is what we call it subconscious mind uh, and the way how we behave the way how we uh, our attitude um, our thinking our philosophy our perspective everything is been uh, based on our subconscious <laughs> yes I know it sounds crazy but it's true. If you go really go through self development uh, uh, life, right? You can actually see those. Um, What's it called again? Um, those books, motivation books, audio books. And like, oh, yeah, I, I, speaking of audio books, and uh, morning. <laughs> so yeah, that's the owner of the resort. I'm actually staying right here. See how beautiful here it is, right? And um, actually, uh, that is his gigantic Bangalore house. So yes. So um, where am I? Oh yeah, the audio books and also books. I'm not really kind of good in reading. Okay, I hate reading since I was a kid. But uh, when I try to do self development, uh. I have no time. Like any one of you guys will say 1,000 reasons saying I have no fucking time. Actually, I found that was really bullshit. <laughs> yes, excuse. Even I, I said it myself too. When I, before I go through the self-development progress. Um, you're not have no time. It's just two things. You want, you don't want. That's all. Because everything in our life are uh, based on what we decide. Yes, it's true. Don't say that it's not true. It's true. Whatever happened in your whole life is that you decide to let it happen. And you didn't know actually. You won't know because it's subconsciously you're doing it without you knowing it. So how to de how how to change that is that you need to take the first step, which is decide. Like let's say, um, I have no time. No, it's wrong. I find out that I have time. You know where I have time. Okay, before that, I let you know what I work. I work as a salesman, right? You you know, okay, and. Most of the time, I have to travel long distance driving, so like three, four hours to one place, and when you come back, you're really late, and then I'm very tired, and I will give that excuse to myself, not to people, to myself, saying I have no time to do this. Actually, it's wrong. Yes, I'm actually slapping myself saying that now <laughs> when I think about it. 
Uh, yes, you have time. You know how how to benefit it by having have time to read those motivation audio books. Technology nowadays is so damn fucking convenient. But a lot of people <sighs> have the wrong concept is that they use too much technology until that they depended on technology for their life. No, you, you could not let technology control your life. They are created as a tool for you in your life to enhance your life, not to, you know, make you more miserable. How I, why I say that is that you can see nowadays everyone is addicted to TikTok or whatever it is and superficial stuff. I know saying it's bad, but too much is bad. Too much is bad. It's because uh, I can see uh, nowadays a lot of people doing these kind of things like they're showing off all these things, right, in just in the face of the camera. But after that, they don't show the anxiety, the depression, everything they have. Because you know why? They're just too much into depression. Uh, sorry. Uh, too much into obsess of trying to impress people. Instead, they, 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 they shouldn't do that. Now, that's external. So... You shouldn't do those things, you know. Okay, number one. Stop giving yourself excuse. The most number one in your whole life you need to do right now, right? Is stop giving yourself excuse that you can't do it. I have no time. Uh, nobody can do it because nobody ever success. No, those are fucking wrong. Sorry, because I... Uh, I'm very honest, so a little bit vulgar here, on my word, but it is true. If you decide something you want, go for it. Don't let people's voice drown your dream, drown your goals. Let me ask you, what's your goal and dreams? i give you a few moments to think about it. So you know about what's your dream and goal, right? Your number one step, what you need to do. Decide on your goals and dreams. Decide no more excuse that I'm lazy. I'm no time for my goals. I'm too busy. This kind, of, this kind of stuff. Stop it. If you have a goal and dream, go for it. And you can ask for people's opinion, but you cannot be drowned by their opinion. You can absorb the essence of their opinions, but you cannot be drowned by them. Because, or else you lost your way, you won't achieve your goal and dreams. Number two, patient. Yes, patient is actually one of the disciplined things that you need to practice in your life. Although, like when you do something, right, you don't see anything, any result or anything. Well, I can tell you that. You have to be very patient, or else you won't get what you want. I've I done a few mistakes in my younger life that I never be patient on doing things. Mm. Yeah. But when now I do self development, I try to control myself, I try to be disciplined myself. I'll sit down, listen to people talk instead of uh, people talk halfway and then I jump into the conversation and cut people's conversation like that. Yeah, I know I still get a lot of improvement but I'm 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 heading there. Okay? Number three, always be gratitude of whatever you have in your life. This I screw up a lot in my whole life. <laughs> I know I if you ask me, yes I did regret but uh, it's a good thing actually for myself to learn. The most important thing is that learn from your mistake. You know, don't don't blame, blame. No, no, never blame. If you blame, you know, there's a saying: you point a finger. See, all these fingers are pointing back at you. So before you blame people, blame yourself first. You let people, you let it happen. See, that's the reason. Never blame. Never blame. 
the more you blame, the more you pros I can't say that word, procrastinate. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess that's the correct way to say it. Um, you will make yourself worse. You will remind yourself that you're not worth enough. You see, that's the problem. You need to have a self-value that you value yourself the highest, you know, the highest level. Or else, you always think about yourself uh, uh, too low level and that's the reason why you always have a little bit anxiety, depressions, about that your life is not enough. Like you say life is shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's true. I mean, anyone who's been through that, I guess they will agree on what I'm, I, I'm saying. Oh. So let me ask you one thing. Have you ever big gratitude in what you have in your life? Ask yourself that question. If you have a roof, a roof, a place to stay, still got three meals a day, you still got transport to go to work, and of course, if you even have a work to earn some income, you are way freaking lucky than the majority of the 60% of the population of the whole world are right now, you know. So you ask me, your life sucks? Try go ask the 60%. Some don't even have a place to stay. Some don't even have three meals a day. Some don't even have a job or anything. Yeah. So you ask me, your life is way better than everyone else. So practice gratitude. And, but here's the secret. When you practice gratitude, right? Man, I tell you that. Of course, uh, I'm not a, a religious person. I'm, I'm more into free thinking. But I'll let you know one thing. When you practice gratitude, abundance you keep on coming. It's like, it's like a, you, 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 you open up the, the water tap to become even more water to come out. Like you open it full blast, you know. All the opportunity we came in. This happened to me uh, about a month ago. After practice self self development, I go for self discovery. Discovery. Um, practice this method, and man, I tell you, boom! I start to create my own IG page for the tourism, uh, helping my family too, actually and in a way earn some income so yeah uh, paradise firefly now is actually uh quite well doing quite well and still growing the, the page and also the ig um and then after that um people keep you know that's the funny thing when you practice gratitude you practice uh, practice positivity and uh, you attract more Yes, yes, this is what we, we call it law of attraction. It's real, it's real. Although I don't really go for like extreme level. This is only like the basic, the, the tips of the iceberg that I, I'm, I'm actually practicing right now. But it does work. Like anyone, like you know, you let out your intention out. Like I, I appreciate now what I have. Now please um, help me. I, I want to find opportunity to find uh, more opportunity in my life. Like, let's say, example, I want uh, more business so I can earn more income. And it came. People who have the same thinking came to my life. Like, oh, it, I'm not lying. Like, the, the past one month, all those people who actually wanted to find a way to grow their business or, or find income, they come. They have the almost same mindset as me, <laughs> so it, it is very, very powerful. I can I can tell you, it's really powerful. So you should really practice gratitude, patience, discipline, and lastly, always make decision. Don't let people make your decision for you. 
make your own life decision because you control your life. I'm not saying anything but listen to me. Not even God can control your life because you know why? You are the creator of your life. You are the God of your own life. You create your own story in your life. You are the author of the life of yourself. So I ask you, again, what's your goal and dream? How are you going to create your life? How are you going to write the story in your life? You should ask that question deeply on yourself. I too sometimes like, I, I, I too feeling down uh, sometimes when I'm in a bad mood. But I always do this nowadays after I practice self development that every morning I go for a little bit of jogging and then I sit down to rest in a very quiet place and meditate for at least 5 minutes to 10 minutes. Vision what you want, feel it as if you are there. And I can tell you, sooner or later, you are there. I can feel it too. Actually, the things are coming. I, I, I don't know how to explain it, but I know the things will come. And I will not give up. That's why discipline, patience is very important in this phase. Um, I'm still learning a lot of things. So, you know, there's a saying. You only can... You only can give what you have so I only can give you what I have learned and I experienced myself so in the future if I create another video of this kind of way I will you know give what more that I learned and share it to you guys so yes guys practice this little few things first I tell you you attract a lot of things that you really want in your life including love if you very want it because to enable to okay about love is that to love someone you have to love yourself now that's true I'm not lying because if you don't love yourself how you love people you don't even understand what is love right love is pure never create any hate or, or dishonesty those are wrong you know how to differentiate is that when a person doesn't love you it's not that they don't love you it's because the attraction level have dropped down and they are not focusing on you anymore so your value has dropped in their mind see that's the reason that's why if you go study relationship thing they will not say love they will say attraction level focus and also that value so that's why if you practice self-development you have to raise your value first so people can see you when people see you they're attracted to you see you see where I'm going so that's the reason self-improvement is way 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 very important in your life it go overall in your whole life to raise everything so yes I'm practicing that right slow but I will cherry eventually we get where I want to be I have a very big dream actually and uh, sometimes when I tell my friends I don't, they don't believe it that I can do it but actually part of my dream is to be already come true actually I start my own business a little small business so like one two three four five I got five little business of my own now so I, I'm hoping in the future I can create another five more again. Because why? I have plan B. Plan B is another kind of uh, things that I want to do in my life. To get my plan C goal going. So yeah. That's my goal and dream. So what's your goal and dream actually? Use it. Use it as your guideline in life. When you have a goal and dream, right, you know where you want to go. You know where the road is. And there, you put all these things I say. Gratitude, patience, discipline, 
decision in life all this okay I tell you that you change your whole life completely because that's what the five percent people are in this world the rich people they don't steal people's money they say no it's not that way when you go through the level that I've been through right, right you will understand what I mean so I'm, yes I'm going ahead to join the five percent in this world now soon almost there I might be a dollar near a hundred air, thousand air, yeah, but know where I'm going soon. Can foresee myself two, three years maybe. Millionaire, yeah, no, I'm not gonna stop there. Billionaire, yes, I'm gonna be a billionaire one day. <laughs> so, okay, then, guys, I gotta go in now. Thank you for watching. Because uh, we really passed the 20 minutes, I supposed to make a 20 minutes uh, little motivation talk. Okay, see you guys then next time. And if you guys like what I uh, say and do, please, please, please help me to subscribe, like, and then support my channel. If you anything, just comment below. I will, if I have time, I will reply every single one of it. Thank you everyone for watching. Bye-bye.